A long-term study found that teenagers exposed to gambling in video games are more likely to engage in real-world gambling later in life. Colin O'Gara is Head of Addiction Services at St. John of God Hospital. Kids can be saying that they're gaming for a particular amount of time, but parents won't be aware that actually there's a phone hidden somewhere. Being a parent myself, I have to say it is a... Uh, it's a difficult task, you know, because um, kids are bombarded nowadays with um, all kinds of addictive processes. Parents are not aware that we live in a completely normalised and highly proliferated gambling society where um, products, uh, you know, gambling products are there, uh, you know, for kids, little spin and win it features for kids um, on iPads um, where... In you know some apps, they say it's it's uh, for four plus uh, or three plus, and actually there's a there's a gambling feature within that app. Mobile gaming and uh, buying some of the features on that. I mean, people can run into very serious difficulties with that. So I think parents need to be aware that you know that that you know gambling is everywhere. Having that conversation with kids around this is a society we live in. Um, that, you know, we know that you're being exposed to gambling cues all the time. Um, what are you doing in terms of gambling? Are you gambling? And how much are you gambling? But would it be any just very obvious behaviours, like lots of interest in things that they used to have an interest in? Is there any other more obvious behaviours that would jump out at you? Yeah, I mean, the, I suppose, Brian, the, the most common one and the most well-documented well documented one would be personality change, behavioural change, uh, not only in children but adults as well. Yeah. So like uh, spouses of um, adults affected by a process addiction would talk about a, a detachment, an increasing level of uh, isolation. The spouse a questioning, are you okay? Is everything all right? And that yeah. can go on. We're often told you know, that uh, when a process addiction breaks that the, the wife or the husband will say that the individual affected, they thought they were having an affair, yeah. but actually that they were Something gambling, off. gaming. Yeah. So it really, it really is that, that shame drives it in underground. Uh, the stigma associated with a gambling disorder is extremely high still, and uh, the support out there is minimal. Like any of those dopamine hijack systems, it's the problem.